I know is upsetting. What you've been through is unimaginable. But I can't help you unless you open up. Miss Walker. Miss Walker. 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 Fetch! Please, tell me what happened. Okay. My parents called me in when they found that I had powers. I was dumbstruck. But my brother Brent, he always took care of me. He just grabbed my hand and we ran. Spent a few years living on the streets, staying out of sight, Keep it on the move. We did some shitty things to make money. But that job we pulled before leaving Seattle? Worse than the rest of it combined. Come on, sis. It's just one more job. It's all loaded up. Let's just go. No, this one's the payday. Mm-hmm. How much? Enough to rent a decent place. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Enough for a short-tailed Burmese cat. Huh? Oh, that's <laughs> low. <laughs> it's enough for a fresh start. We could use one. Shit, get out, get out! What? It's the cops. You hide, hide. I'll distract them. No, wait. If you do this job, we leave tonight. No one will be able to find us? Y yeah, soon. No. No. Do not use your powers. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Just... Carry my weight. Fetch! Okay. Hey! You! Come over here. Look at me. Eyes up! Right here. Uh, Officer is this Hall. really necessary? For the process. All right, kid. Over here! with a mohawk on this dock. If I search that boat of yours, am I gonna find him? Wait! Do you wanna see a trick? <laughs> Ren always pushed me to keep my power secret. If anyone knew a conduit was in town, there'd be a manhunt. And it happened before. But that night, I wasn't worried. I'd use my powers to get the job done, then the two of us would take off. We'd be miles away before the DUP showed up. God, cops were supposed to be lazy. Oh, gotta ditch this guy. I can't do the job with this cop on my ass. Brent, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But as soon as you started to glow, the whole city went crazy. This is too dangerous. We need to leave now. The DUP's coming. I thought you wanted a fresh start. And you know I want that cat. Just tell me what the job is so I can do it. Uh, fine, just be fast. It's the penthouse at 3rd and Stone. Break in, grab the red duffel bag. Okay. What's in the bag? You get it? 
and we're leaving with a literal boatload of cash. <laughs> like the sound of that. We'll get out of Dodge, bro. You're always one step ahead of him. Just be fast. The thought of you in a DUP prison, I couldn't live with myself. Knock, knock. Charge up. Gonna need it. Okay. Fetch, you okay? Were you in that? What happened? The place was full of Russians dancing around a bomb. Shit. The occurrence. They found him. Found who? My boss. If they knew about the penthouse, then they'll know about our boat. We gotta go now. Fine. Warm up the engine. I'll be right there. I'm sorry about all this. I really wanted to get you that Burmese cat. I know. Next time, bro. Fetch, stay away from the boat. The currents are just outside. They got guns. What? I'll be right there. No. You have one of your panic attacks near these guys, they'll freaking take you. I'm keeping it together just fine. I got you. Now hang up and hide, dummy.
are you? No. I need you. Whenever I'd start to freak out, I'd focus on Brent. He was the only thing that'd calm me down. I clung to a good memory. First night in Seattle, we found this overpass and got out of the rain. Ended up reading comics by flashlight until we fell asleep. Later, this guy snuck in and tried to steal what little we had. And I was about to make him pay for it. But that night, we established the rules. Rule number one, no powers, no matter what. We might lose some gear, but Brent didn't want us to lose us. I shouldn't have used my powers. It was my fault he was gone. It was my... I lost it. 